Bezos, Republicans in Congress are still working to woo the tech industry. The House set to vote today on three bills as part of Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy's Innovation Ini Initiative. Leader McCarthy joins us now from Capitol Hill. And Congressman, it's great to see you. About this package that you guys are going to be taking up today, part of it is favor more favorable tax treatment for things like stock options that are given out as compensation to these employees. Of all the economic initiatives that Congress could be taking up right now uh, to juice our economy, why was this one at the top of your list? Well, th this is just part of the innovation initiative, things that we have been doing all year. This is about job creation. And remember this, gazelles are the terms we call companies that grow at 20% a year or double every two years. They make up 4% of new startups, but they account for 70% of all new jobs. So how do we expand that? How do we create more jobs? Innovation also saves money in government. Take, for instance, just two bills we have up this week. IT reform by Congressman Will Hurd. Government spends $80 billion on IT. 80% of that is spent on maintaining legacy systems. And if we in reform government in IT, it makes it more efficient, more effective, smaller, and costs less. Then when you think of new startups being able to attract the very best of employees, well, they could be a private company. But if you own less than 1%, why shouldn't those employees get a piece of this? But taxes make them not wanting this. So tax deferring until they go public or seven years gives them the option to have ownership and attract more people and have a piece of the pie. That is good American dreams of what we want to make here. And, and that creates more jobs. Certainly there are tens of thousands of people who are employed by these companies who would certainly benefit from that. And I understand that it's part of the, the innovation initiative. I'm just wondering with things that are so crucial, like Zika funding, like a potential Supreme Court appointment. I'm just wondering why Congress at large isn't taking up some of those issues rather than things that would seem like a no-brainer. You know what, that's a great question. And you, you know Zika funding? Congress took that up in June and has passed more than $1.7 billion for Zika. So that's a great question for a senator. Congress has no say over who gets appointed to the Supreme Court. So again, another great question for a senator. Congress has been acting, and that's the part. We can walk and chew gum at the same time. And the, if we want to create jobs, growth will solve so many problems in America. We should start looking at not the problems of just a week ago, but what should America look like 50 years from now? We can make that happen. Innovation will create more jobs, make us more efficient and more effective. Congressman, uh, we talk a lot about removing regulation. Uh, the, the guests that we have on our show often cite that as a very important thing. But given in the past few days, we've seen news out of Milan. We've seen news out of Wells Fargo, where a number of people on the street feel like, well, here are some cases where we actually need regulation. I wonder if you pinpoint anywhere within tech where you say, well, actually, these are some things that we might need to keep our eye on and regulate more, perhaps lightly, but regulate more. Well, regulations are important, but you've got to have common sense. When you look at the uh, EpiPen problem, there's two problems here. One, the company, and one, the regulation of the FDA, because that's a generic. But you know what? They've got a patent on the procedure of putting it in, the pen. But because of FDA and the slow movement of that, they get a monopoly on this, and you're not allowing a new company in. This is where regulation is holding back. In my own family, we need EpiPens, and the cost has gone up. But FDA's regulation has stopped innovation, which would bring greater competition and bring that cost down. So, yes, we need it, but we okay. need government to work effective. Meanwhile, Congressman.